another video. This one is actually a hair tutorial, so I'm going to teach you guys how to do the side braid and also a side twist. So it's two different variations um, on this type of hairstyle. So if you want to learn how to do this, just keep on watching. What you're going to need is one or two bobby pins, a rat tail comb, and I think that's about it. Um, also, on a side note, if anybody is going past Victoria's Secret Pink, should definitely stop in. They're having like a really big sale on everything, so girls definitely can appreciate that. Um, yeah, so to get this look, one similar like it, keep on watching. Sorry, I also forgot to mention you're going to need a hair clip, so make sure you have this hair clip, it's going to come in handy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is the twist. Alright, so you're going to comb back your hair a little bit and use a rat tail comb to separate the front section of your hair. So you want a nice clean line, you don't want it to look messy. So separate that, pull as much hair to the front as you would want in the twist. Take the rest of your hair and yes, that handy dandy clip. When you clip your hair back, doesn't have to be neat or anything. Just tight enough so you can't pull the hair out while you're uh, doing your twist. So you're going to take two sections of hair right at the beginning of your part. So put one section over the other. So now part one is part two. And continue putting one over the other, gradually picking up bits of hair. So you're going to see it's going to create exactly what it's called a twist effect. So a little bit closer, over, you're going to grab some hair, add it to the previous piece of hair, just so you get that sort of wrapping around effect. So grab, twist, so you have to do that on the back and front side. So when you put the hair over, when it becomes a back piece, you have to grab from the back as well. So you're doing dual grabbing. So you're just going to take um, a bobby pin and pin that in place. Alright, one and two just to be nice and secure. So you can see my part's pretty neat. I had a little bit of a slip up at the beginning, but we all make mistakes. Alright, so you're just going to hide the bobby pin under your hair when you open it. There's a close up. Okay, so I don't know what really happened there, but yeah, you can always take it out and do it again. I just don't feel like it. Alright, zoom out. Great, there's your full effect. So, hair out of your face took like exactly no, 30 seconds, let's say that, to a minute. Okay, maybe like two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Zhuzh. <laughs> if you want, you can tease the back, that's totally up to you. Um, if you have thick hair, no need to tease. Thinner hair like me, we definitely need to tease, but yeah, no teasing for me right now. Okay, so here's the second variation, which is the braid. You're going to section off your hair again with the rat tail comb. Keep in mind this is a braid, so it involves more hair, three sections, or three parts. So you might want to use a little bit more hair in front. So make sure when you're clipping your hair back this time, you really clip it back tightly. Because if you end up pulling like a strand, then that's just a gateway to pulling more strands. And then there's strands everywhere, and it just gets like into a hot mess, and we don't want that. So nice and tight. Great. So you're going to have one, two, and three. So two would be your middle section, one and two are the outer ones. So you're going to take part one, put it under part two. Now that becomes part two. Take part three and put it under the middle one. Take part one, put it under the middle one. And gradually, all you're doing is taking hair and putting it under the middle strand. As you're doing this, you're also gathering the hair. So you continue the cycle, gathering hair and going under, gathering hair, going under. You're continually switching which strand of hair is acting as your anchor, which is the middle strand. So you're grabbing and pulling under. And make sure you, you pull it tightly because if you don't, then it just looks very loose. So my hair is a little bit thinner, so it's not like a huge braid, but girls with thicker hair will have a thicker braid, which makes a lot of sense. So once you've braided as far as you like, take your bobby pin again, 
and pin it and take another one and use that to make it more secure. Great. So there's a close up. You can see the small braid right there. You're going to open up your hair just like when you did the twist, hide your bobby pins. I actually prefer to use a rubber band, um, a little black rubber band just because I don't really like having the bobby pins there. I play with my hair a lot and I end up pulling them out. So, yeah, but bobby pins are actually a lot easier. So, yeah. Just, just like before. And there you go. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Hopefully it's easy to follow. Um, if you have any video requests, if you want to see a special tutorial, makeup tutorial, hair tutorial, pretty much anything, just let me know, leave a comment below, inbox me, email me, um, all my information is in the box below. I heard you good with them yeah. soft lips, yeah you know, word of mouth, the square root of 69 is 8 something, right? Cause I've been trying to work it out, ah, uh, good, white wine, uh, I come alive.